Just don't breathe. <laughs> just don't breathe. And it's All right, so as we said on Facebook, we're gonna do some videos with the Dried Carolina Reapers. If you haven't followed us on Facebook yet, you can go over there and get that done. Today we're gonna do Are You Smarter? We're gonna do the first round you lose, snap of the mouse trap. Second round you lose, Oh that. And then after we both lose the third round, we both can eat a Carolina Reaper pepper. She's excited. So you're, I'm asking you first. Yeah. In 1963, who became the first black person to win an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in the film Lilies of the Field? Yeah. Louis <laughs> Gossett. Louis Gossett Jr., Sidney Poitier, Charles Dutton, Billy D. Williams. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963 by Lee Harvey Oswald while traveling in the presidential motorcade in what state? Alabama, Oklahoma, Arkansas, or Texas? Alabama? Probably wrong. Incorrect. What is it? Okay, I'm excited. Texas. Texas. Yeah, I was going to say Texas too. <clears throat> Pull a little baby pinky. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roger says that we need to have it get stuck on us. <laughs> Would you come join, Roger? What iconic music and pop culture magazine was founded in San Francisco in 1967? A. Rolling Stone, B. The Atlantic, C. The New Yorker, or D. Entertainment Weekly? The New Yorker? I don't know, man. Incorrect. Snappy snap. Too tired for this. Rolling Stone. <laughs> You think I'm snapping myself for it? Ow! It didn't stay. <laughs> I was looking that one to stay. <laughs> oh, man. The 1960 election between John F. Kennedy <laughs> you keep getting that. Walk with and JFK. Richard Nixon was one of the closest in American history, with Kennedy taking the victory. JFK's religious affiliations caused many voters to be wary of his loyalty to American citizens during the election. What religion did JFK practice? Catholic, Buddhism, Islam, or... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Protest, Protestant, we'll just say that. Catholic. Correct. <laughs> What president signed into law the Civil Rights Act of 1964, an act that banned discrimination based on set race, sex, religion, or national origin? A. Harry Truman, B. John F. Kennedy, C. Lyndon Johnson, or D. Woodrow Wilson? What year? 64. I have no idea. Kennedy? Incorrect. Oh, what the? The correct answer is Lyndon Johnson. Yeah, because that's the, leg again, man. the first time I've heard his name. <laughs> Can I do the belly? No. Stay no. in the camera. Dude. I'm in the camera. Yeah, and I have to zoom in. Mm. I still have to zoom in. You're moving away again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get over here and get it done. Sorry, I'm sorry. Get your hand away from me. Ow! That would hurt worse than last time. Probably charge more. <laughs> Alright. Hey, wait, now. <laughs> yeah. And so tonight, to you, the great blank 
of my fellow Americans, I ask for your support, stated President Richard Nixon in his famous 1969 speech. The group he was referring to were those who did not protest the Vietnam War or participate in the counterculture of the 1960s and 1970s. What term did Nixon use to describe them? Silent majority, strong-willed, Sun Belt voters, or <coughs> quiet supporters. You went with A. Correct. Oh. This is... <laughs> yeah, you should brush up on your 60s pop culture. Yeah, because you knew that one. I did. You guessed it. No, I didn't. I knew A. I said A before you finished. <laughs> what is the name of the group of riots that took place in Los Angeles, California in 1965 following the arrest of a black motorist? that resulted in over $40 million worth of property damage. A, Zoot Suit Riots, B, Black Sunday Riots, C, Acro Riots, or D, Watts Riots. About to earn yourself a pep. Some zoot suits. <laughs> <laughs> the first Super Bowl was held in January of 1967. What team won the first ever Super Bowl? Green Bay Packers. This isn't cool. Green Bay Packers, you said? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> what was the name of the surprise attack directed by Viet Cong forces on South Vietnamese cities? and American troops in 1968 that further increased American disapproval this is of <laughs> the Vietnam War. A, the Tet Offense. B, Easter Offense. C, the Gulf of Tonk Tonkin Resolution. Mm -hmm. Or D, Battle of whatever that word is. Pleiku? Pleiku. Not sure, which one? A. Please. Yes. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Uh, we're running out of questions. Yeah, it's like 2020. Sam Walton, the creator of Walmart, opened yeah. his first store in 1962 in what state? Yeah, much I like that guy. Yeah, Tennessee, South Carolina, Arkansas, or Georgia. I really wish they would add New York on that because I said that. Say Georgia, screw it. Incorrect. Yeah, yeah. Arkansas, I wasn't going with that at all, so I was getting it wrong anyway. <laughs> Don't you dare like be a jerk with it. I didn't hold it on you for like 10 minutes. Why would I do that? Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's definitely way worse. Yeah. yeah. This is the key. You need to charge it next time. Known for arguing cases such as Brown versus Board of Education and Miranda versus Arizona, who became the first African American Supreme Court Justice in 1967? A. Sonia Sotomar, B. Thorogood Marshall, C. Benjamin C. N. Cardonzo, or D. Clarence Thomas? 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 I don't know. Got you a pepper. Who was it? Thurgood Marshall. I was going to go with the one above Thomas. Oh, come on. Right. I, I'm waiting so, for on this round, she's going to wait for me and we're both going to eat them. Because I will get another one on. Is that the small one? That's the small one. Can you find the smaller one? It's going to be the death of me. <laughs> That's the small one. Yeah. What is the name of the 13-day confrontation between the U.S. and the USSR concerning American missiles located in Italy, in Turkey, and the Soviet? Cuban Missile Crisis. Missiles in Cuba. What? Cuban Missile Crisis. Boom. This is not fair. Now what? I guess just ask me questions and I'll get one <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Either way, we're both going to eat more pepper. So. What type of art often... 
featuring movie stars or consumer products was popularized throughout the 1960s by artists including Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and James Rosenquist. Impressionism, Art Deco, Abstract Expressionism. Art Deco. Oh, oh. You mean, yeah. Pop art. Yeah, should have read the last one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to chalk that up as a win for me, even though we're both kind of losing now. <laughs> well, overall, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be you that time. It's horrible. So before I do this, I guess we'll just say, cheers. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. If you hadn't gone to our Facebook page yet and liked that, go ahead and go over there and do that, so you can see what we got going on. Um, planning on doing another one for one challenge with Mitch. He's in some of our older videos, our most liked videos. So there you go. They're not crunchy at all anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to swallow this. You gotta swallow it. I can't. You gotta swallow I'm sorry. It. Swallow it. <laughs> it's not that bad. The minute it's hot, and it sucks. It's getting worse. It's not that bad. You got a tiny bubble. How often? How long do you chew it? Um, down it. <laughs> I'll down it when you do. Ready? It's gonna hurt my teeth. Ready? <laughs> they ready? Mm. You throw up? Oh, oh. oh that was horrible. <coughs> Just don't breathe. <coughs> Just don't breathe. And it's fine. <coughs> oh. All right. My tongue is on fire. Oh. Thanks for watching. Oh! Oh!